What's going on guys? Welcome to yet another one. Um, I'm going to be recording a fighting here today, the first fighting ever. Uh, the reason why I'm recording is because it's not me who's fighting. Um, so I don't have to worry about lag. So the, la the game can lag as much as it wants. Because really my base is just... This is it. Uh, this is my army as you can see. Like, I think I made like... Hey ho! 18 armed peasants, but the real deal is going on here. So here we have uh, the settler. Um, he's a pro. His economy is not the best, but his fighting is excellent, I would say. Um, definitely pro level. Um, so this is his eco. Um, the fighting has started uh, three years ago, so yeah, we lost a little bit of it. Um, he's going up against nothing, who has. One of the best economies for starter state, if not the best economy for starter state on current conditions of the game, as far as I know. Um, so, game um, game started like fighting started like almost four years ago. Years ago, and both players already lost like already almost like a full army each. So they had to rebuild. So this is their second army. So the settler's army is a bit smaller, considerably. I'm gonna give him a good advice here. Because his army is like considerably smaller, but he has been holding on pretty tightly. Like nothing's army clearly is insane like this is an army of just knights apparently so i think he's ready to do a rush um i'm gonna be commentating on some mistakes that i see and improvements that can be made let me just get set for this so a lot of fires going down but the thing is, now the settler, he's not the best at defending fires. He has made some mistakes uh, against me in the past, uh, in another match we had earlier today. And some mistakes, and the same mistake uh, happened here with nothing, but it didn't cost him. So nothing's pretty good uh, defending fires at this point. He rarely gets burned, I would say. So, army of knights there. Oh, one, two, three, oh. Got safe, the army of knights on the left. So this fire is coming in, but all nothing does really is just run. And that's all there is to it, guys. When you have horse archers and shields, you can set some knights that, like like nothing did there. Two, three knights, five, even ten. The fire is too big, but the rest is just running. You don't even need to place tunnels. Uh, I would, um, and if I can't because of assassins or something, um, I will just um, I'll just run really. But it should be able to to defend easily. Um, so let's see. So none of them have too many stables. Okay, so Sattler has like two stables outside, but it is. I, I would send assassins here, maybe to destroy the ballistas as well, just to be annoying. Since the game is really in slow motion and the game is really slow right now, so the Sattler is doing a pretty good move there, uh, trying to burn the. The knights with just just um, fire carts. It is a uh, very smart. Uh, and the thing is, I was gonna say that nothing should have five to ten horse archers on the knight army just to make sure he can be harassed by simple fires like that. Having five to ten um, horse archers mixed up in there just to protect from um, like dumb harassments like this. So this kind of stuff doesn't work. Um, maybe we got some action here, but really like nothing has a pretty big um, knight advantage. Now in the past, in the first conflict they had, um, even till nothing had a slight um, army advantage when he rushed, he ended up losing most of his knights and the settler's knights ended up winning the first combat and I believe it's because of the support that was given to the knights. The settler had a lot, uh, a lot more catapults. Nothing did not have catapults. I, I believe the catapults make a big difference. And here's nothing is rushing again. I'm not sure about the rush. I would not agree with it. 
Um, I think that rushing from this distance with catapults, it's probably not the best idea. Those knights are not gonna get too far. They're gonna be easily be taken out. So I think nothing. Cut up on his mistake. Now maybe correcting it. Um, trying to go back. Now in this case, I would recommend that the other army goes back as well because if you don't have the support of horse archers, eventually you might have more knights only on that army on the left. Might not be enough uh, without support and under fire from the catapults. So I don't think nothing got my tip from having like five to ten horse archers on the smaller army, so he doesn't get harassed by simple fires like this. Um. Moving his shields up. Tethor is pushing. So yeah, Settler is going to burn like the horse, like the knight army at the end. Um, they're all going to lose their shields, um, sh uh, their horses, and a lot of them are going to lose their horses, and the shields are going to burn. So, um, and he didn't like send some knights to destroy the fires at the start there, so that's going to cost him. Um, knights are not going to die, obviously, but um, it's going to cost him for sure, and. And horses. Now the settler has a pretty substantial army at this point, since like, yeah, all the knights lost, lost their their horses. It's not bad to have a a knight army separated. I I think it's I think it's useful. Uh, it's an extra threat. Uh, so if you ever want to rush, it's it's pretty good. Now he's gonna have to make stables, and um, we'll see now. Maybe the settler might rush. Currently, we're gonna get some action here, so it's not a bad time to rush. I would say it's probably a good one. Like nothing's catapults, or uh, not even firing. Um, he has catapults of his own, but instead, apparently, he just baits nothing into rushing, or nothing just went to rush. But it's, if he wanted to rush, it was a full rush. If he got baited, then it was a good bait because it worked. Um, so I think nothing just needs to. Um, like reorganize, regroup his army, and he's gonna be fine. Doing that now, maybe making more shields. I don't know how many he got in there, but it doesn't look like a lot. It's gonna be enough for this range because horse archers are really not harassing the shields at this point. And nothing has a horse problem there with his knight, so he's gonna have to fall back. Now the settler is kind of now one of the problems with the settler is he still has to is yet to correct maybe his troop movement. Now uh, Atotis is not like bad moving the ships first. Um, it's not great either, but I guess it worked this time. He placed the shield in the spot there to start. Now nothing is rushing. I'm not sure I like this rush as well because of the catapults again. Like, this many catapults is gonna be really really hard to rush in. Um, and the Settler definitely has a horse archer advantage here over nothing, so I think the best course of action would be to just retreat. Settler could even rush in uh, with his whole army at this point and maybe try to crush this. This army, as a matter of fact, he could even do a full rush here because uh, he even has some fires. So maybe sending fires to the left, um, kinda uh, burning whatever. Fires with shields, of course, to burn reinforcements that will come from this, this this corner here, and just full rush um, this army here that is currently very, very vulnerable and under fire because probably the settler has more. I'm assuming more horse archers and knights over here than nothing does over here. So a rush would not be uh, would not be bad. Also, I think nothing's knights are on aggressive. Uh, therefore, they're they're rushing uh, the enemy. So shields and fires coming in now. Not bad too. They're just just shields are not gonna work though, and fires like that far behind not gonna work as well. Some shields are being spent there. So this is just the settler being 
a little bit unexperienced perhaps with big army fights. Um, maybe doing control is a good idea. Uh, got, I'm sure he'll get this, get it right this time. But at this point, like nothing already caught up to his idea and he's running, so it's not gonna be efficient. Also, the shields and fire I don't think are, are moving as one unit. Now they are, but they weren't before, I think. So fires are at front, so it's gonna be kind of problematic there. I don't think the fire is gonna, gonna land at all. I'm moving catapults forward. Pretty good idea. Um, now he could move even his whole entire army forward, so catapults are a little bit vulnerable there, but since nothing is not too organized to deal with that, and he still has one fire card alive in the fire, um, catapults like fall like this, not gonna be a big deal at all, at all. his knights really are not gonna be able to get there, cause probably their horses are just gonna die before that, and they're just gonna get catapulted, just like so. So now nothing's kind of regrouping, but he's having a hard time, I'd say, against the Sattler. So Sattler fighting is pretty good, I think he learns pretty fast. He knows all the basics, he doesn't miss like basic basic stuff, he knows the essentials. And he always, he always has been successful in applying them. Nothing can be uh, a little bit hasty at times with brushes and such, so maybe watching that would be good. Taking his time now to regroup. Uh, probably not a bad idea. Just getting knights without horses, maybe in the back. Getting the that getting horses to them, making more shields, more horse archers, regrouping the, your army properly, and then preparing for battle again. Because if he tries to rush in again uh, right now, it's not like his army is not big enough. It's just that I don't think it'll work out because Settler's army is probably the same size, and um, the difference is that Settler has much more catapult than fires. Uh, he is, I would say, a little bit more ready for confrontation, so I don't think nothing's pushing, I think he's just regrouping, which is what I would do, I believe, this, I believe this is his best course of action. So, um, so yeah, I think nothing's gonna settle down a little bit. Now at this point, Settler should be pushing, I believe, maybe with one, two fires, like medium, maybe one big and one small fire, two medium fires. Uh, really putting in some pressure. He's letting nothing regroup here, which is probably a big mistake. Definitely a big mistake. Um, nothing's knights are getting horses now. Nothing has a lot of stables. Now, since nothing has a lot of stables now outside um, of his gates, he could easily be. Uh, Settler could easily be making some some assassins there, and um, and harassing those stables. Um, I would. Um, and also um, stacking the army, like the settler should probably stack his army. It's not bad what he's doing, but it's not not great at all. Uh, it's not the best. Like the only thing that's grouped there seems to be the catapults. Like I don't know where those things are going. But yeah, regrouping the army would not be bad. Also, perhaps making more shields, doesn't look like he has like a whole whole bunch. Has just a tiny group of shields here in this corner as you can see. So not say it's optimal. Nothing's army uh, has been regrouped, his knights are almost let's say halfway a horse there. So nothing is already kind of ready to, to push a little bit more. He's reorganized his, his troops a little bit more. So fire coming in, let's see how this is going to be dealt with. I don't think there are enough shields on both teams here. So not great for them. So fire is coming in, two medium fires. From both sides, maybe they will land. Nothing seems to be sending his knights, but sending them, um, they're, they're moving low like this. But because some of the knights he selected are with all force, and those fires appear to be landing actually. Weirdly enough, um, that fire is gonna be quite deadly actually, as nothing troops are walking right into it. So I did not expect that fire to land. So uh, it's gonna be. That's gonna be a big L for nothing. Like his shields are gone for sure, many of his. Many, many of his knights are dead as well. Not knights, but horses. 
So having to retreat one, once more, did not protect the fire properly, maybe making making tunnels and sending knights. Um, it's a standard defense, but if you do everything you can, usually one of one of the, all the things that you do are gonna be enough. Like, if one of the things work, it's already good enough to protect from fire. So sending knights, moving your troops back, and placing tunnels. One of those three works, you're safe. So here nothing could be making um, logs on the left, on the right side here. Um, Sending some logs here would not be a bad idea at all. You can make even like two logs. I believe he's making a fire over there. Yeah, so big fire coming in. I assume that's big. Yeah, looks like, looks like a pretty big one. Um, Settler has a ton of catapults, so rushing him is going to be hard. And he already caught up on nothing's idea pretty quick. So I'm going to be sending some... Some fires there to stop. Nothing fire. And nothing has no horse archers on the side here, so those fires are gonna, gonna be enough to set nothing's fires back a little bit. So nothing probably has more knights than the settler. Yeah, definitely. Um, but his army is a little bit scattered, not really well organized. The fire. Did hurt a lot of shields, but did not kill the horse archers. So nothing could still make a comeback here. I still think that. Well, what was that? It's like a lot of troops just died. Is that a tunnel somewhere? Looked like a tunnel. Um, but I think it's just catapults, really. So I don't know how those things got destroyed. Maybe catapult shots. So um, nothing is rushing in with knights now, because he definitely has a knight advantage. But then again, like. The catapults, man, they are deadly. Like, those catapults are gonna do some work. Like, look at that. Like, how many knights is that? Like, like, 20, 30? So, it's gonna be, like... Like, they don't have force anymore. None of them. So, really, the only thing that could save this rush for nothing, from nothing, would be the fire. So, again, this is, I believe, nothing being a little bit more hasty than it should. Like, overextending a little bit. Like, making a... A rush on his I don't know I don't know why he made that rush could have been better made so yeah again here settler I would say doing some some mistakes here um, moving his his shields first and horse archers and knights they're so vulnerable for for catapults uh, it's a good thing that nothing does not have catapults because Jesus Christ imagine just hitting like five catapults uh, stones in the middle of his horse. That would be concerning. That would be concerning, I believe. Um, so yeah, nothing's knights, whichever, however many that uh, ran towards the settler, they definitely got destroyed there. Killed. So the Scepter doesn't even have that many knights. How many is that? How many can that be? Like 50 or something? It has a little bit more here, like, like 20, maybe 25, 30. But it's really not that many. Uh, nothing must have... I don't know now, but he definitely had over 100 before that first rush. First rush. And he even slapped his bakeries. I don't know for what reason, maybe to make a fire. But his army is extremely vulnerable. I don't know if the settler has um, assassins in here. I believe he does. Um, so yeah, catapults advanced. Pretty good idea since nothing's army is not um, not good at all. And very few shields as well. So knights moving back again for maybe the second or third time, um, getting forces. So yeah, nothing has like so many knights, but. His rushes have been a little bit too poor. Uh, my advice right now for him would be to just regroup. Um, oh, assassins on top of buildings here, guys. Uh, closing the gates, very annoying. Um, very, very annoying. Very well played by, by the settler. He knows the principles. Um, so yeah, that gate's gonna be... It's gonna be annoying now, guys. It's gonna be annoying. So now also... Too few shields and too few horse archers, they're gonna get sniped pretty, pretty happily there. Uh, it's gonna be bad guys, it's gonna be bad. 
It's not looking good for nothing at all. I was not expecting this, to be honest. But I think nothing got a little bit too careless um, after a point or two in the, in the fight. So now again, like pushing forward, probably. I, I think he's just trying to regroup, but still, like I believe his best option would be to just fall back, make logs here, and um, hope he can land some logs because to land logs on this army would be a juicy, juicy thing. Now again, like what even is that? This is not what you wanna, what you wanna do. Like, not what you wanna see. Like, what is this? Like, this, this quote unquote rush. But like, bro, those knights you're gonna get, you're gonna get demolished. Bro. As you can see, like the setter only, he knew he didn't have to waste too many catapult shots on that. This one, and this one would be fine. One or two would be fine, and then he just rushed in with his knights and just gonna really snipe out the rest of these knights here, clear them out. Um, nothing's nice here, trying to get horses back, it's not been easy. Gate is open, maybe the assassin is dead, I'm not sure if it is, but um, the settler doing some work here guys, doing some work for sure, nothing. Uh, it's gonna be a hard comeback if it is possible. Um, and the thing now is that nothing can't really even punish the settler for making moves like this. Like, what even is this? Like, his, his horse archers are completely exposed. I know he's just trying to defend from the knights, but bro, you have like a group of five, six catapults in here. You should want, you should have shot there. It's gonna be, it's gonna be very, very scary, scary time. So, fire's coming in now, but those fires are not gonna land. Uh, land, I mean the in the in the traps up obviously because these these fires will never land on the troops just on the fires. So nothing remaking army, making a lot of a lot of catapults right now, and I believe he will need them. Now the good thing is he has an army of knights here. It's a sub substantial army, guys. This is like what we're talking about, like very healthy, good strong fifty at least. So again, like nothing here, missing on logs. Um, maybe he will, maybe he'll make them this time, but it's really not gonna be much use since the barracks are gonna, it's gonna go down. I don't know if he can rebuild up if there are assassins all over the, of the place here. Um, yeah. Looking very bad for nothing. So, barracks have been replaced. Fire is being made. And next thing to watch out for, I would say, is the estate here. Because if the settler buys the estate, maybe nothing can make a comeback with, with tunnels. Because you can really spam those tunnels. It would be dangerous. It would be a great mistake if the settler bought this, bought this estate. So, um, fires coming in. Those fires can be deadly. Uh, I myself have died to fires like this many, many times in the, in the past. But the seller knows how to handle them better than I do, clearly. Having some some fire cards inside your army, just to make a fire in front of it, and this allow the enemy fires to reach you. It's a pretty good option, always. Uh, also, a group of shields in the left there, preventing any logs. Um, very uh, well played by the seller. Like he knows the principles of fighting, for sure. Only thing that um, I would say could improve is his troop movement for now. Because the rest, like, he's got everything covered for sure. Uh, assassins, micromanagement. Uh, oh, those lands. Those those rocks are gonna be. Those rocks are gonna hurt bad, those knights. Uh, hopefully, nothing spots it soon. We could make some walls there. Maybe. So, this fire might land. So, again, like, Settler moving his troops in a very weird way. It is fast, but if you lose all your shields and the enemy has some catapults, like say the army enemy army is like over here and not like all the way over there, over here you can land like at least one shot, one good shot, and all this a shot like this uh, on those knights. But on horse archers and, and like on this group, this is so vulnerable for catapult right now. But settlers being able to get away with it because. Um, Nothing is not really ooh, the bit making the best that he can out of this. So a lot here, maybe. 
Um, so this is really poor. Gotta put the same ignite here. It's not good at all. Um, like nothing was working so hard to get horses back on those knights, and now he can't. So again, another rush there. Uh, I think it's completely out of place. By nothing, sending like five knights to this catapult would be enough, and the rest of the knights really to protect the troops. The Nair's troops are so vulnerable, and I don't know what those those fire cards are, but um, maybe they will land weirdly enough. That's the idea. I don't know what the idea here is. Yeah. So landing the fire there. Um, I'm gonna kill whatever horse archers are left. And there are there aren't many left at all. Shoots also. Um, going out there, probably not the best idea. Uh, could have been not so bad maybe to punish all this like running around with no shield that he's getting away with right now. Setting fires to this like. You can even send like almost naked fire to this like the Sator is doing just to kill. Snipe out these catapults and, and shoots because shoots and catapults are so bad at running away from, from, from fires. Now I think nothing is just giving up really like what the hell even is this? So he's trying to make a fire there. If he slapped his bakers, let's see, he did not slap, slap his bakers. Uh, siege camp is gone already. He could have gone for, for catapults really because um, bro. One two shots here at these, these horse archers. You don't even need like too many catapults. Like one two shots and it's over, you know. So, um, oh, settler actually ended up buying the estate. Um, I don't know if the if nothing is doing. Okay, he's remaking army. So nothing can actually make. Um, what is it called? Like tunnels. Nothing can actually make tunnels now. Now going out again with his army maybe not the best option. If he has crossbows, he does not. He could have been placing them right over here, not be bad. And also his knights, um, those knights are not gonna, they're not gonna be doing like, it's gonna be bad. Those knights are gonna die. Like they're not gonna accomplish anything at all. Those knights are not even close to accomplishing anything. Now nothing could have saved those. What the hell even? Yeah, he gave up. He just gave up, um, apparently, like, sad to see, um, uh, maybe he's having a bad day, but, um, could have struggled there for a little longer. Um, could have made tunnels since Settler wrongly took the estate, no, definitely a mistake. Don't want to take that estate. Um, nothing had equal advantage at the start, but I think he gets a little bit too impatient um, at times, and ends up doing some some weird weird mistakes. Um, so settler ends up taking this one home. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. Um, hopefully, no one gets mad at the commentary. It's gonna be probably the first ever fight with commentary that I've seen on YouTube. So um gonna stop the recording right here. I think it's pointless, nothing clearly um gave up on this. And um hope you guys enjoyed, hope you guys learned something about troop movement stuff, fires, fighting in general. Uh Settler had also a good amount of assassins. Um good uh, amount of assassins uh, inside like nothing here harassing him closing his gate so on and so forth very annoying stuff it's little stuff but it's annoying you see uh, this kind of stuff it can get under the skin of your opponents and um, it can really like psychologically hurt them during the, the combat having like them mentally overwhelmed with small micromanage small micro stuff that you're doing like hitting the knights here with a couple of shots having an assassin on the on the gate, destroying stables of either assassins or or catapults. So, so yeah, guys, those things can can really like put a toll on your adversary. Um, I I'd recommend it. So, um, hope you enjoy, and it's gonna be it for this one, guys. Peace. I'll see you in the next one.